Tale of the Tape brought to you by Eon Flux. Nate Quarry, more of a natural 185, perhaps. Rich Franklin, as the numbers indicate, the taller man, but the reach advantage goes to the challenger Quarry. For the official introductions, back into the octagon and Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC championship bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission with commissioners Dr. Tony Alamo, John Bailey, Joe W. Brown, and T.J. Day, and Skip Avancino, Jr., chairman. Our judges at Octagon side are Nelson Hamilton, Jeff Mullen, and Cecil Peoples. Our lead doctor is Dr. David Watson, and when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Big John McCarthy. This event is sponsored by Paramount's new film, Eon Flux, in theaters December 2nd, and Zion's Extreme Supplements for Extreme Athletes, available at GNC stores nationwide. And now, live from the sold-out MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas, it's time! This fight is five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, the challenger standing in the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 14 wins with one loss. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Gresham, Oregon, introducing Nate the Rock Quarry. And now introducing the champion standing in the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter who holds a mixed martial arts record of 20 wins with one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall and weighed in at 183 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Rich Ace Franklin! All right, you've received your instructions, your address, and you have a question from the challenger. No, sir. Any questions from the champion? No. Touch gloves, get back to your corners, fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Let's go. And as loud as it's been all night here at the MGM Grand Arena when the champion, Rich Franklin, was announced by Bruce Buffer. Again, a five-round championship. All right, here we go. Up. UFC middleweight championship, you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on! And a relatively large task in front of the challenger, Nate Quarry. Tonight's clock brought to you by Zion's Extreme Supplements for Extreme Results. As well-rounded as Rich Franklin is, is there an advantage having him upright or down on the mat? Uh, well, we don't know. You know, we, we again, we haven't seen Nate Quarry on the ground. But we have seen Rich Franklin. He is excellent. Big knee by Franklin. Slip by Quarry. Franklin capitalized on it. But Quarry was fortunate to be able to get back into his feet before Franklin wrapped him up. Big right hand slip. by Franklin. Throwing bombs. Nate Quarry is staying in there. Looks very composed. Looks like he's looking to land a big right hand. Might have got kicked low there. See inside leg. Come on, let's go, let's go. Walks it off. Only one professional MMA loss for each fighter. Oh. And a clean left by Franklin. A series landed by Franklin. Nate Quarry got rocked there. 
Franklin landed some good shots. It looks like Nate is looking for one big punch. It looks like he's looking to, to counter with a big right hand. And as he's doing that, Rich is throwing combinations and catching him. Again. Wow. Big left. He got hit right on the eyeball. He is hurt bad. Well, he's stunned and this down. This might be it. Big John go, 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 almost stopped go, 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 it. Go, 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 go. Nate Quarry got rocked there. No, let's go. He's back go, to his go, feet. Come on. Well, we heard Rich, T Rich Franklin talk about when he defeated Evan Tanner, what exactly he had to do to stop the fight. And he has got Nathan Quarry more than dazed now. Nate Quarry's nose looks broken. It's bleeding, and it looks twisted. He took some shots. First of five scheduled rounds reaching the midway point. Again, oh, on the bike. performance by Rich Franklin just took Nate Quarry apart. Wow. Very impressive. Beautiful straight left. Whew. Rich Ace Franklin retains his middleweight championship belt and he is among those concerned now with his uh, opponent. Let's look at the end of the fight once again, Joe. Bang, oh. on oh. the button. And you see Nate just stiff immediately. He is out. You see his legs up. His muscles are contracted. He is unconscious. Let's take a look at it again. On the button. And Nate just shuts off. You see his leg extended up in the air. He is in la-la land right there. Let's take another look at it. Just a perfect punch straight down the pipe. Nate Quarry put to sleep. Rich Franklin successful in defending his title once again. Rich Franklin, one of the most talented, badass champions in the history of the UFC. And a very sportsmanlike ovation from this MGM Grand crowd as Nate Quarry rises to his feet. Boy, and it's always a scary moment. Seether among those in attendance tonight in appreciation of Rich Franklin's prowess. <laughs> Attending to Nate Quarry. We're trying to get Joe Rogan into the octagon and uh, wow, what an impressive victory by the champ. Bruce Buffer has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner at 2 minutes 34 seconds of round number one. For the winner by knockout, and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Rich Ace Franklin! Rich Franklin hangs on to the belt at the 234 mark in the first round. Winner by knockout to Joe Rogan. Yeah, Rich Franklin. Now, Rich, coming into this fight, Nate had said that he thought that you had a weak chin and that he was going to exploit that. Did that upset you in any way? No, it motivated me. But let me say this first. I wanted to come out here and put on a good performance because I saw the fight before mine, and I hope you guys are entertained. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there's no question. Put on a great performance. You did. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the knockdown. Look at the big screen. Talk us through this. Uh, I, you know, I was throwing some sloppy punches, and uh, one landed in his eye there. I knocked him down the first time, and I thought John was going to stop the fight, but uh, he didn't. And uh, then the second knockdown, it was clear that uh, he was out, so there was no need to pursue. Now... There's a, a list of challengers in the 185-pound division. Who do you feel is at the top of that list, and who do you think you're going to face next? You know, honestly, I, I'm not in the decision-making process of the, of the UFC. They're the ones that pick the opponents to stand across the ring from me. There's a wealth of talent in this weight class, and I respect everybody in it. So whoever's across the ring from me, it's going to be a tough fight. 
Well, congratulations on another string of excellent performances. I mean, you improve every time you come out. We look forward to seeing you again. Give it up for the champ, Rich Franklin, ladies and gentlemen. But the two champs tonight really sending messages through the rest of their respective divisions, even though Riggs Hughes that was right not there. a championship bout. Matt Hughes with a first round victory in decisive fashion, and even more impressive perhaps was the first round knockout that Rich Franklin scores against Nate Quarry here. Let's go back into the octagon and Joe Rogan. All right, I am here with the challenger, Nate Quarry. Nate, obviously very disappointed. This is a, a very tough fight for you. Give us your thoughts on it now, now that it's over. Well, I'm a firm believer in that you see what a man you truly are in defeat, not in victory. So I went out. I fought my best. Rich is a great champion. That's obvious. He won easily. First round knockout. You know, I did my best. I wish the best for Rich. He's a good champion. I'm happy to have been a part of this situation. Do you, I'm sprayed with blood. Do you think? Uh, do you think coming into this fight now, in retrospect, do you think that it was too quick for you? Man, I don't know. You just gotta, you gotta roll with the dice. You take the opportunities that are presented to you. You take a chance. If you don't, you always wonder, what would have been? What would have happened if I'd have taken that title shot? You know. Now I know. I'll be able to go to my grave and say I fought for the best title in the world. I'm happy with that. Well, you know what, that is an excellent attitude, and that is why you are an excellent fighter, and we look forward to seeing you recover and come back again better than ever. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Nate Quarry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not done. I'll be back. I'm not done. Well, Nate Quarry, very gracious in defeat, as uh, that one didn't come close to lasting the five rounds that it was scheduled for, and that's because of the, uh, the devastating power of Rich Franklin. A couple of looks at the knockout, right jab, and the big left that caught him stiff. And as Joe uh, Rogan mentioned, we saw Nate Quarry fold up, the eyes rolled into the back of the head, the muscles went stiff. And at that point, Rich Franklin and the rest of the crowd here at the MGM Grand Arena knew that the title was not changing hands tonight. A big time title defense for Rich Franklin. Tap out of the night goes.